Well, hi folks, and welcome to Our Tips with John. I am your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and welcome to the show that teaches you not only how to build on your artistic talents, unlock your creative skills, but also how to build your own extraordinary art business. Welcome to today's show. Okay, folks, in today's show, um, question that we've got from Albert in Guernsey. I understand it rains there a lot, Albert. Um, very traditional name, by the way. Anyway, should I paint for fun or should I paint for a living? Only you can really ask, answer that question, I suppose. The, the, the question I suppose I should put to you is, do you want to make money uh, with your art? Or are you happy just painting for fun? Uh, the, the other part of that question, I suppose, is can you not do both? Can you not paint for fun and also make money from it? Um, like me, for example, I paint out through the age, uh, or out through the ages historical timepieces, and I have a tremendous amount of fun not only researching the time periods, getting to know all about them so as I can teach them, but also uh, putting the paintings together and seeing the finished product and looking at it and thinking, wow! That's Waterloo Station, that's Jack the Ripper, that's, you know, Notre Dame or, or wherever it might be. Um, you can do both. It depends, I think, honestly, uh, for a serious answer, it depends where your heart is. If you want to make a living from this, you need to be aware that customers can't and aren't always the most fun to be around. Sometimes customers can be very, very rude, they can be very critical, and they can be very, very emotionally draining. On the other side of that, they can be absolutely fantastic and wonderful, and 99% of our clients these days are just ah, salt of the earth, peaches of pie. But in the early days when I was getting started, I had everything from death threats to people trying to get into my house. Um, not because I'd done anything bad or wrong, it's just because of the kind of client that I was attracting in the area that I lived. Now, if you can cope with that level of stress and fear and uncomfortability when you're starting out, I'm not saying everybody's going to have that, okay? That, that was a bad experience and probably a very bad example. More often than not, people will be behind you or be behind you, supporting your artwork, loving your artwork, saying, yes, you should definitely go for it. It is a lot of work, though, to build up a business on this scale that we are at now. It took me about 16 hours a day for three years straight, plus the amount of time over the next 10 years that I spent learning, studying, building business, all that kind of stuff. So in total, I've been doing this business now for about 16, 17 years, um, for only the last four years full time, okay? It is immensely stressful if you allow it to be, um, and it depends. If you're someone that thinks, yes, I would love to do this, I have a good mind for business, absolutely, I say go for it. Because you've got a product, you've got an unlimited supply of materials, an unlimited supply of uh, your creativity that only you have. If you're someone that says, you know, I couldn't cope with all that stress, I would freak out, I just you know, wouldn't do it. You have two options. One, continue to paint for fun and get a job elsewhere. Or two, um, get someone to help you, okay? There's tons of people out there on social media. Um, make sure that they are a reputable person, first and foremost, if you are hiring help. Make sure they've got a CV and make sure they've got pl plenty of credentials as well. That is really important because there's a lot of people out there that say they can do one thing when in reality they, they actually can't. So I hope that helps. I know this was a short one today, um, but it's a simple question. You know, should I paint for fun or should I paint for a living? It depends what you want to do. Um, your passion will lead you and guide you and I hope this video helps. So there you go guys. As always, I appreciate the questions. Uh, we've got some more questions coming for you in the next couple of weeks, folks. Uh, as always, feel free to fire in your questions and anything I can do, I'm happy to help. Until next time, take care, God bless. This has been Art Through, no it hasn't. This has been Art Tips with John. I'm so confused with the amount of shows that we're doing. Art Tips with John, the show that teaches you how to unlock your creative skills, build on your extraordinary art talents, and also build your amazing, unique business as well. And as I say, I've been John Morris, the painter of memories. Until next week, guys, take care, God bless, and I'll see you soon. Well, hi, folks, and welcome to another exciting episode of Art Through...
<laughs> well, hi, folks, and welcome to another exciting episode of Art Tips with John. I am your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and welcome to the show that teaches you not only how to build on your extraordinary artistic talent, not only how to unleash it, but also how to forget your lines, apparently. Well, hi folks, and welcome to Art Tips with John. I am your host, John Morris, the painter of memories, and welcome to the show that teaches you not only how to unlock your creative talents, build on your artistic skills, but on also how to teach. Well, hi folks, and